Yo, it's Homie G in the house. So, so if you're new, some of my students like to call me Homie G because that's sort of like my rapper name, you know, going to take my face into space. And my name's Gregory Holmes, so Homie G. Anyway, uh, um, welcome to Friday, uh, August 21st. This is the lesson for today. I am not wearing the same shirt every day, just so you know. I'm recording three sessions right in a row, so uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, um, yesterday, you talk, we talked about key signatures uh, with flats, dealing with flats. Uh, so let's go back and do a quick, quick, quick review. Because I'm going to give you a quiz. I said earlier that it was going to be Monday. I'm rethinking it may be Tuesday. I haven't quite decided. Uh, but Monday or Tuesday, you'll have a little quiz. So let's do a quick review. No sharps or flats. What key are you in? You memorized it, remember? No sharps or flats, key of C. If you have one flat, you memorize that one too, right? It's the B flat, but that's not the key. Key is key of F. And on the quiz, you will not have to put major, even though this is major. You just have to put F. Okay. Now, why don't we have multiple? Remember, you're going to go find the last flat, go to the one that's before it. And this is, if you don't, haven't learned the letter names of the notes really well yet, this is, I'm going to give you a basic, simple way to do this. You're going to go, okay, there's two flats. This is the first one, and that's the second one. So I'm going to find that flat, and I'm going to go back to the one before it. Now, what is that note? I'm going to remember my saying, every good bird. So that would be a B. So the key is B. Whoops, don't want to do that because that's a different key. Key of B flat. And that's the correct answer. Again, if you put B, it's totally wrong. You can't do that. We talked about that yesterday. All right. If there's three, quick review. Find the last one. This in this order. You're going to find this flat. You go to the one that came before it. I'm going to go F A C E. The key is E flat. I know it's flat because it tells me to play that flat on the piano. I want to show you real quick. I've got to play. If I'm in the key of E flat. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to play the E. Can you see that? Oh, there we go. I'm not going to play the E. I'm going to play the E flat. That's two different notes. So like I said with, my, with the keys, E and E flat are, are two different keys. E and E flat are two different notes, like with my brother, Phil Holmes, Gregory Holmes, two different people. All right. So four flats. If you want to memorize all these, you can't. This is, I just found this is easier. After a while, when I started doing this, long, 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 long time ago, pretty soon I, I got to recognize I don't have to think about it much anymore. We're just looking at that last flat, and that's A flat, key of A flat. Comes in this order, even though it goes up and down. Last flat, one before it, D flat. Last flat, G flat, every good. Now we're going to look at sharps today. Sharps a little bit different rule. It's similar, so you got to you got to you got to get these rules in your brain well. And the students that don't get this are the ones just not committing it to memory. If you'll think about it and just focus it for a few minutes, you'll get it. It's really it's really you really will. I believe that. So uh, just do that, and you won't ever get mixed up. All right. So when there's one sharp. You're going to find uh, the last sharp, and in this case, there's only one. It's the first one and the last one, so there's only one sharp. You find, you figure out what that note is. Every good bird does fly. That's an F, not the key. The very next note above it is your key. What comes after F? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Is the key G sharp? No, it is not. It's just the key of G. Now remember with the flats, you have after one, that one's F, but after flat, you find the, the last one and go to the one that came before it, and it's B flat. That's because you are starting on a flat. The B flat. But when you're talking about the key of G, and we know you're starting on a flat because it tells us right there. The key of G, it doesn't tell us anything about sharpening any G's. We just sharp the Fs. And I'm going to show you this one on the piano. I'm not going to show you the rest of them on the sharps. 
It's just like I did with a few of them yesterday. I want to show you the G. So we got the G. You're going to play A. Remember, remember the F sharp is the only one we sharp. Okay, it's the only one that's not a, a white note. So we go G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And that make, that's why you have an F sharp is the key of G. It goes back to that, that whole um, pattern. I don't know if you can see my hands or not. I can't see it good. Okay, here we go. G, uh, so we're going to start here with the G, and we're going to go whole step, whole step, half step. That's a half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step. We can't go half step. We've got to go whole. Remember, two halves make a whole. Half step. Finish with a half step. We do that one more time. Whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. That is why you have one sharp in the key of G, and that's an F sharp. It fits that pattern. Uh, see how logical music is? Very, very logical. All right, so that's the key of G. If we have two sharps, you're going to find the last sharp written. Always comes in this order, just like with flats. Always comes in a particular order. Not the same order, but, but the particular order. So you're going to have F sharp and a C sharp. F, A, C, the note above A, C. Not the sharp above. There are no sharps above it. Flats, we could go backwards because with flats, we go to the one that came before it because there is one that came before it. But if we're going up to the next, the sharp to the next what? I think some of you are like, am I supposed to go up to the next sharp? There are no sharps. Go up to the next note. Flats, do this again. I want to make sure everybody understands. I think about, over the years, I've thought about all the things that could be confusing to people, so I'll throw this in. If there are three flats, you're not going back to the last note. You're actually going back to that last flat. The sharps, are, you're going up, so there's nothing to go to. You're going forward. Going forward, there's nothing to go to except a note. So F, A, C. What comes after a C? A, B, C. It's not a trick question. D is correct. Is it the key of D sharp? No, it is just the key of D. Period. All right? Now, let's, we're going to put a sharp up here in this space above the top line. Remember what we talked about a while ago? How to find those notes of, uh, in yesterday's lesson, how to find those notes above that. If this is an F, that is a G. So this little box in the, in the sharp symbol, not hashtag, but in the sharp symbol, this little box is what you're looking for, and it sits in that space right where this note is. And that is the, if that's an F, that's a G. So what comes after G in, in a regular alphabet? H. We don't have a key of H. What comes after G in the musical alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We start all over with A, right? A, B, C. If I said say the musical alphabet twice, we're going to go A through G. You're going to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All right, so this is the key of A, not A sharp. I want you to notice something. I'm going to show you what A flat looks like. That's the last one. You go here, F, A. That is the key of A flat. That's why they're two different things, and they are not. Uh, even though they share an A in their name, they're not the same key. All right. So, in fact, let me show you that real quick. I wasn't going to do this, but it might help you understand. Okay, so if I'm playing A flat with the flats. A, I'm going to have to have an A flat, a B flat, an E flat, and um, a D flat. So we're going to go A flat, B flat, C, D flat. E flat, F, G, A flat. If I'm playing the key of A, it's a whole different key, and I'm going to need uh, a, 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 uh, an F sharp, a C sharp, and a G sharp. So start with the A. A, B, C sharp. Can't play the C, I gotta play the C sharp. D, E, I can't play the F, I gotta play the F sharp. I can't play the G, I gotta play the G sharp. And that's because of that pattern. Whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay, so that's two different keys. And you can hear the difference, right? You hear it. So that's why if you can say A flat for that one, you've got to say A for that one. If you put that as A, you're, trying, you're actually telling me it's this when, when you can see clearly that, that it's not. Okay, so let's do a couple more. Let me do a few more and we'll be done. So, word, key word to show me that you're uh, watching. Write in the word sharp. S-H-A-R-P is number one. All right? Sharp. If 
there are four sharps. It's all that last one's always on a D sharp. Every good bird does. Looking for that little box here. So what comes after D? It is the key of E. E major. You don't have to write E major. Then we're going to go, it's always a pattern, but instead of writing that A up here on the staff, we write it here. You can see there's a pattern to it. But here we're writing an A right there. What comes after A? A, B, key of B. Let's go look again at the flats. That's the key of B flat. That's the key of B. Two different things. I can't emphasize that enough because I'll have, I always have kids on the test that'll say, you know, leave, not always, but I'll often have kids on the test that will leave that flat off and they miss it. So I don't want you to miss it, all right? There's an A, let's do one more. And we have an E. This is the last, last. You don't see this very often in music. Very rarely will we see this, but I want you to know how to do it in case you ever do. Because uh, you don't know what you're going to be doing in music in the rest of your life. You may be in a band. You may be in a choir. Uh, you may be uh, a soloist singing at weddings. Who knows? And, and you need to know how to do this. So, I'm sorry. You may try to call me. And I won't answer. All right, so, um, E. So, the key of F, but not just F. Remember, this is the key of F. So what could it be? Think about it. If this is the key of F, and this we know E F comes after an E, so what is it? It tells us that it's the key of F sharp. Instead of starting on that F, we're going to start on the F sharp. This is the key of F sharp. Okay? All right. Uh, second key word is uh, uh, let's see. Mm, what can I give you? A key word or phrase? How about uh, Reading music, reading music. I want you to write that. So number two, reading music. And I think that's enough for today. So uh, write that first one and the second one. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, learn this well because we'll have a quiz next week, either Monday or Tuesday. All right. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye.